Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. An Easter programme broadcast by the BBC has been accused of sexualising Jesus Christ. The show, which was broadcast at midday on Good Friday, argued that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene. But retired Anglican Bishop Michael Nazir Ali said it is highly provocative in terms of its content for Christians on Good Friday and it attempts to sexualise Christ in the most offensive way. And Andrea Williams of Christian Concern said, Noon Good Friday is the precise time Christians are remembering Jesus' crucifixion. To air a programme which questions the purity of Christ is at best insensitive and at worst offensive. Who is making such bewildering decisions in the BBC's religious programming department? George Carey, the former Archbishop of Canterbury, says that redefining marriage is part of an aggressive, secularist and relativist approach. He was responding to a new poll which shows that two-thirds of Christians believe they are part of a marginalised minority. The same poll found that 85% of regular churchgoers oppose the plans to redefine marriage. Lord Carey said, as David Cameron knows, I am very suspicious that behind the plans to change the nature of marriage, which come before the House of Lords soon, there lurks an aggressive secularist and relativist approach. Staying with marriage, Britain's leading expert on family law, Baroness Butler Sloss, says redefining marriage will destroy its meaning. Lady Butler Sloss used to be the country's top family law judge, and now she is a member of the House of Lords. She supported gay adoption and civil partnerships, but she says many of her colleagues in the Lords think gay marriage is a step too far. She said, I have always spoken in favour of gay relationships and the rights of gay people, but this does seem to me a different issue and one which attacks marriage. I think it is a destruction of the word marriage, which has been understood for many years. Meanwhile, film star and gay rights activist Sir Ian McKellen has said he is unlikely to want a gay marriage for himself. He says he's happy to see marriage redefined for other same-sex couples, but he told the Daily Telegraph, it's probably not for me. Only 3% of gay people plan to enter a gay marriage, and only a minority of gay people think it's a priority for their community. A Liberal Democrat MP who wants a complete ban on smacking has narrowly failed to convince his party in Scotland to adopt the policy. Edinburgh West MP Mike Crockart admits he has smacked his own son, but says he now regrets it and wants to make smacking a criminal offence. But his fellow party members narrowly voted against the idea by 51 votes to 42. The Deputy Children's Commissioner for England says there should be huge moral anxiety about the impact of internet pornography on children. Sue Borelovitz says there is evidence of children as young as 11 hunting for pornography and some boys who think there are no boundaries for sex. In one large local authority, she said 100% of boys aged 14 were looking at adult material. She said some boys think they have an absolute entitlement to have sex with girls any time, any place, anywhere with whomsoever they wished. And finally, a new ICM poll for the Church of England has found that four out of five British adults still believe in the power of prayer. The Bishop of St Albans said, Prayer is one of the most natural and instinctive of human responses, so I'm not surprised to see these findings. I come across people on an almost daily basis who want to talk about prayer and how to do it. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.